Hey, how's everyone doing today? Uh, we did a little video yesterday on uh, beginning overclocking your RAM, just kind of a starter video on how to get started working on your RAM. And um, we ran across a MEM test uh, when we were downloading the Ryzen DRAM calculator, and I'd actually forgotten about it. Uh, it's been so long since I'd ran it. Um, but it comes when you download the DRAM calculator. It's part of it. Uh, but I said yesterday that I would make a little video or show you guys how to use it. That way you can test your RAM after you, you work on your overclock. Um, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to download it, uh, how to start it, and then uh, let it run for a little while and see if we get any errors. And I'll put the description uh, or put the link in the description down below on where to download it but uh, here we go um, all right first thing we want to do is we want to go into um, our web browser here and we're going to write uh, type in Ryzen DRAM calculator and we're going to pull this up and uh, you can download it from a couple of different sources uh, there's tech power uh, guru 3d tech spot um, but i usually get mine from tech power uh, doesn't guess it really matters as uh, as long as you get the latest version the version i'm using is the 1.7.3 version uh, later on down the road of course you know it may be a little higher but i assume it's going to say somewhere close to the same um, and you just go in to your DRAM calculator here to your download. Click the download button. Um, come in here. This is your mirroring sites. Uh, just choose one. Uh, probably whichever the one's the closest to you. And that's going to start your download. Uh, it only takes a few seconds. And when that's finished, we're going to click on that. And it's going to open it up uh, in our downloads file or wherever you download your files. Uh, and you just go to MemTest and double click on that. And hit the Extract All button. Uh, I'm just going to extract it back into the same folder. And that's going to open this up. And you just come to MemTest and you'll see here you've got the Ryzen DRAM calculator. Um, if you've already got the DRAM calculator downloaded and extracted, then uh, that file is going to be... Uh, in your downloads, so you just have to go there. You don't have to download it again. Um, and what you're going to want to do is you just want to run MemTest. And let me close this out because I need to close everything before I run this. Um, and uh, then we've got this message. It's welcome new MemTest user. Uh, read the manual to get uh, the most use out of this program. Uh, if you don't have time for that, just quit every program running on your computer, click OK to close the window, and then click Start Testing. Uh, let MemTest run to 100% or overnight to catch intermittent errors. Um, if MemTest finds any problems, it'll stop and let you know. The longer you run MemTest, the better the test. Uh, if you have multiple core CPUs, run multiple copies of MemTest and split the amount of uh, RAM tested between them. Um, and this dialog box can be turned off in the pro version, but we're going to be using the free version. So what you need to do is um, we're just going to set that aside right there. That's the box that's going to come up. And I've already got it here on my desktop. So uh, we're going to open up two more copies, or actually three more copies uh, of men test. And I'm going to run two gigs on each. Uh, um, four gigs on each one of them uh, and actually here we go we're just gonna run four of them and go here just do four here Four there, four there, and that's because I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM, and four there, and that's going to run four on each one of them. 
Um, and then all we have to do is just hit the start button and that's going to start our test. Uh, now we're going to let that run for an hour and once we're done then uh, we'll see if we have any errors. And it says here your computer RAM will now be tested. If any problems are found you will be notified. You can stop the test whenever you wish. But the longer you run it the better. Uh, and there again the message can be turned off in the pro version. And we're going to hit OK. And we're going to do that on all of these. And as you can see here, um, we're already at 300% coverage uh, on that 4 gig. So, I mean, we've already covered enough to know there's probably not going to be an error. Um, but we're going to let it run for an hour just to make sure. See you back in an hour. First of all, what went through my mind is how stupid am I to actually volunteer for this. It, it, it was unbelievably painful. Okay, we've got about five minutes to go. But so far, no errors. We're going to let it run for the last five minutes just to be safe. Uh, you never know. A, a fair errors pop up right at the last second. So I said I was going to let it run for an hour, so I'm going to let it run that extra couple of minutes. Uh, but I just wanted to take this time to... Uh, to talk to you guys. Um, I really appreciate everyone for, for tuning into the channel. Um, um, I don't know if you've watched any of my other videos or if this is the first one you've watched, but if you haven't, you need just check out a couple of them. Um, <clears throat> a little bit about myself. Um, I'm mid 40s. Um, I've took my first computer class in 1986 uh, so I've been doing this for a long time uh, now I did not go to college for it uh, I got out of high school and, and got married and, um, and got a job and worked but over the years I've taught myself um, about computers and and how they work and uh, I don't I don't necessarily always use the most technical terms. Uh, you know, I'm not uh, I'm not Steve from Gamers Nexus. Um, I'm not Bill Zoid. Um, I can't tear down a PCB. Um, but when it comes to to building a computer, I can put you together one that works and works well. Um, I can tighten up some timings. Um, I can overclock a graphics card. I can I can overclock a computer. I can do just about anything um but i just wanted to put that out there um for you guys uh as, as you can see um uh, while uh while this has been running um I went and took me a shower and got all cleaned up i uh, didn't shave still go going with the covid 19 uh beard um but Basically, just what I wanted to say was thank you guys for for uh, tuning in and, and watching the channel, and I hope you support it. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you get something from it. Uh, and just keep coming back. Um, like I tell everybody, if you didn't find what you were looking for this time, I guarantee you somewhere down the road you're going to find something that, that, uh, that you might find funny or you might find useful. Uh, but we're going to try to make it fun anyway. I try not to be too boring. Um, all right, we got two minutes to go. 
uh, I don't think we're actually we've maxed out um, we got to 30,718.2 percent and either the percentage counter quits counting or that's as far as the test will go with the free version I'm not sure uh, but it's still showing no errors so that's uh, that's not the problem um, temperatures all look good um, I mean, even with the test running and I've got all my fans and pumps turned down to silent they're barely running we're still only setting at about 45 degrees um, um, all right we got 15 a minute and 15 seconds now Amazon should be showing up here any second and I figure they will show up in the last minute uh, of me running this test. That's always how it works for me. Uh, I opened the windows where I could see them pull up. Uh, I can see them, uh, the reflection in the, the mirror of my uh, CPU case, which uh, if you guys have kept up with the channel at all, I know I got the new View 71 snow case. Um, I'm going to tell you, it's, it's, it's a beast, it's a big case, uh, got some, some, some problems, uh, I'm actually, I want to do a video on that, <clears throat> um, but again, that's, that's for another day, um, all right, we're down to, Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. One hour and no errors. So we seem to be good. Uh, we're going to go ahead and stop the test here. Um, I thank you guys for, uh, for tuning in. And uh, I will see y'all later in another video, I hope. Uh, everybody have a great day. And uh, come back. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Um, support me on my Patreon page. I could, I could really use uh, some patrons. Um, I'm trying to grow the channel. And some, you know, any support would be, would be very, very much appreciated. Uh, I want to get a little, little better... Uh, camera I've got a I've got a video camera my Canon uh, Vizia but uh, I, I would like to get a DSLR I mean, actually a capture card is the first thing I want to get so I can do this overclocking or uh, RAM videos and stuff where I can restart my computer and and not have to switch over to my video camera it's, it's really uh, hard to do and it doesn't look quite as good and it's not as interesting for you guys um, but Guys, I thank y'all for showing up, and I will see you later.